my dear child trusting in the divine plan is not always easy there are many things that happen that may seem painful or meaningless but in the grand picture of it all every single event that take place in life is designed to lead us into a higher expression of personal and collective evolution you are growing into a new version of yourself there will be bumps along the way there will be challenges but trust that through all of this there is divine meaning so you have been reborn you are entering an entirely new chapter as an entirely new version of yourself so you have full permission to step out of the same habitual nature or routine and create a new routine in alignment with this higher self you are now embodying so miracles are unfolding now that you shed all outdated beliefs welcome in this miracles by living as if you are already in position of the higher frequency you dream of living so my child know that whenever you are going through something very difficult and you need to make a decision you need to trust your intuition so especially when you are going through a crisis that involves matter of the heart it can be very confusing if you are not following your heart everything going on this month with energy shifts has been very stressful and tense for many of us so it can be a very emotional time that can trigger off old past wounds so this message telling to listen to your intuition and trust the process something better is coming your way so no one can make a decision for you or tell you what to do only you have that answer and it is inside of your soul center so trust into what you believe in your heart and let god guide you focus on the light inside of you and listen to the messages that are coming through you will be lead on the right path for a very positive and prosperous future so don't let fear control you chase your dreams with an open heart without worrying about who or how they will come true so be okay with making mistakes along the way forget about the details and focus on loving what you do so remember it is not about having all the answer it is about having the courage to take the first step So my child know that the Lord saying my heart is for you through the changes burning and transition I am holding on to you and I am not letting go So I am faithful to you I am more intricately involved in your life than you can imagine trust my heart when you cannot see my hidden hand at work in your life so i am weaving all of the pieces together of what you are going through you may not understand what i am doing right now
but later when you see the fruit when you see what is coming you will understand you must have a firm and secure foundation for what is coming so out of my great love for you i will shake and test and remove anything coming to damage your foundations so trust me in the shaking trust me when you don't understand what i am doing trust my hidden hand at work for good in your life so you will come forth strong you will come forth pure as gold so in the meantime take up my yoke and it is easy my burden is light and will you let me catch your tears and will you let me take care of you so will you listen again for my voice through the time of confusion attack and pain and my heart is for you so my hidden hand has been at work in the painful pruning of your life but just wait and see how else my hidden hand is working all things together for your good so the more you are pruned the more you will bloom and how beautiful your life will be just remain in me abide in me and you will see the outcome in due time so my child know that as a new spring everything begins here and now and now is the time to set new goals and to start fresh so each morning can be a new adventure that needs to be lived to the fullest take advantage of any opportunity that may come before you so any dark flower can be repainted in vivid colors if you decide so trust the universe that what you most need will blossom at the right moment so enthusiasm should be your paint brush with which you can always recreate your life of course you can never tell what lies ahead So therefore do not be too naive or unrealistic but make your choice wisely however believe in yourself and follow your heart no matter what So take your chance now allow yourself to feel proud hold your head high and shine like a star became an example that others will want to follow so your angels represent trump success and recognition for your hard work and achievements you really deserve the success that is yours now so this message also indicates that you have shown great drive enthusiasm and leadership to achieve your victory so enjoy the moment Now it is time to reap the rewards of your hard work. This message indicates a time of new beginning and success. This combination encourages you to step out of your comfort zone and seize new opportunities with courage and determination. So be willing to take a risk and embark on a new adventure. This is merely an opportunity for you to begin again and explore uncharted territories. Make a decision based on your heart's true desire. The angel asks you to be very honest with yourself 
and them about your dreams and desires. So what do you want? What do you wish to change? What are you waiting for? Allow yourself to acknowledge your genuine feelings. So have the courage to admit your dreams and this message indicates that if you can dream it, you can do it. So the angels are encouraging you to explore your options and take charge of your life. After all, your work comprises a major portion of your daily activities. So you like everyone deserve to spend your time in meaningful and enjoyable ways. So my child know that it is easy to think that our lives are based on what is we are choosing. We all have our own free will to make decision to do what we want. So to a point it is true that we determine the course of our lives but that is not the only factor God has a conditional will think he does based on whether or not we make good choices. So how we perform how disciplined we are but he also have a sovereign will thinks he does regardless of our decision. So God has already planned ahead of time of purpose for you to fulfill. Just as the prophet Jonah, he did exactly the opposite of what God told him to do and was through overboard into the sea God did not say too bad you are on your own you are out of my will God had a big fish waiting to swallow him and take him to the shore as though he called us obey God was saying John my sovereign will is what you go and speak what I say to the people of Nineveh Sometimes we may feel weak or over blame, but God has given us his grace to carry us through these difficult times and empower us to move forward in victory. And remember that no matter what you be facing, you are not facing it alone. You are not without hope. You are not without resources and you are not without answers. Because His grace is sufficient, His grace is all, you need to be equipped to move forward into His victory. So God bless you abundantly. So my child, know that you know it is completely understandable to struggle with accepting what has happened to you. So traumatic experience can leave deep wounds that often seem impossible to fully de-heal. It's okay to feel like you can't make peace with it. So like you are stuck in a cycle of hurt and pain, however not being able to be okay with it does not mean you are destined to stay in that dark place forever.
सो मूविंग थ्रू दिस इज नॉट अबाउट इरेजिंग द पास्ट और प्रिटेंडिंग एवरीथिंग इज ओके इट्स अबाउट एक्नोलॉजिंग योर पेन अलाउंग योर सेल्फ टू फील इट विदाउट लेटिंग इट कंज्यूम यू एंटायरली एंड इट इज़ अ जर्नी ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग डेट सम वर्ड्स में नेवर फुली हील and that is okay healing from trauma is a complex process it is a messy it is unpredictable more like a roller coaster ride of emotions so there will be moments when you feel like you are drowning in memories suffocating under the weight of what has happened and others where you glimpse a glimmer of hope and despite the ongoing struggle you will find a way to navigate through it you might never reach a point where what happened no longer affects you so that is all right because the goal is not to erase the past or to pretend everything is fine it's about learning to coexist with your pain finding a way to live alongside it without letting it define you entirely and with time patience self care and perhaps the support of others you will find a way to be okay not because the past no longer hurts but because you have found a strain within yourself to carry on despite it so my child know that your brain is like the earth with tectonic plates that keep shifting Every year someone comes along and feels like the center of life and then life shifts that person moves to a different place in your head People we have loved intensely are not in touch with any more friendships we have left behind and strangers we have shared smile with are all small countries and cities in our little tectonic world places we would not visit but somehow still shape our world your heart is like the stream that knows how to give and often feels that the world uses you to dump in all they can somehow the stream still keeps giving because that is the true nature of the stream to keep flowing oh and your hands so your hands branches of tree that can feel home to birds that feel lost can be swings to a little baby can hold flowers for a new love and flowers for a love gone by type yes if you have faith and trust in lord jesus